Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Today we're going to look at the Nissan Pathfinder uh, long-term review from an owner's perspective. We'll be looking at the exterior, the interior, functionality, how it drives, and what kind of service has been performed on it. Let's take a look. All right, here we are in the Nissan Pathfinder base model. Uh, this model is a 2013. I've had it for a little over two years, uh, right at 90,000 miles on it. Um, it's been a very good, reliable vehicle for what I do with it. Uh, I bought it for commercial use. Uh, the only options I have are all-wheel drive and I had them add leather, leather as part of the uh, negotiation. Uh, for those of you that are interested, I paid exactly $30,000 for it, wrote them a check. Um, and again, I use it for my company. Uh, it is a very good vehicle for this type of application. I do a lot of construction work and spend a lot of time on the road. As you can tell by the mileage, somewhere in that two to two and a half in that two and a two and a half years, I'm averaging, I don't know, 30 or 40,000 miles a year. Uh, functionality, uh, again, it's got all wheel drive. It's, I've driven it in seven or eight inches of snow. I've driven it in mud. It's very capable on wet weather. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's uh, gonna get you from here to there, and it's not a very expensive compared to the rest of the vehicles in its class, then this would definitely be something to consider. Uh, if you're buying it for commercial use, the truck weighs 5,986 pounds, which is 14 pounds short of the current Section 179 uh, tax deduction. So it doesn't qualify for that. So uh, it probably won't be on my list again the next time I purchase a vehicle, which we usually do somewhere in the 100 to 120,000 mile range, unless the uh, tax code changes to make it viable for that again. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's a good truck. Um, you'll want to know about dependability because this is a long-term review. Uh, a lot of people do a lot of reviews on a lot of sports cars and things of that nature, and I certainly do myself, and this isn't probably the most glamorous truck, but it's one that you see a lot of them on the road, a lot of people are looking at them, and a lot of people are interested in them. Uh, so, uh, and you see a lot of reviews on new ones, but uh, that's why I wanted to do this review on the vehicle today. A little over two years, uh, 90,000 miles, let you know what you're gonna be looking at as you get farther into the lifespan of the vehicle. Uh, what have I done to the truck? Well, I have a full-time mechanic that handles all of my uh, oil changes, filter changes, and things of that nature. So the PMs, uh, I do get those all done regularly. The truck is regularly serviced and taken care of. Um, so there aren't any issues as far as lack of maintenance is concerned. Uh, major repairs, I think the the ma major repair of note was somewhere in the 20 to 30,000 mile um, period I had the transmission replaced uh, it's got the I think they call it the variable speed transmission it doesn't shift from first to second to third or fourth nece necessarily uh, it's just this smooth transition of acceleration from zero to uh, the speed limit of course um, which I thought would be disconcerting being as how I have always, I've loved stick shifts and I love driving sports cars and there's always that sound exhaust for changing gears. And of course this vehicle doesn't meet those descriptions or those applications, uh, but it, uh, it accelerates very well through the gears. Um, uh, it it has, seems to have a sufficient amount of torque. Um, so that's been very nice, but back to the transmission again, that yeah, was, uh, felt like it was slipping. I guess would be the word for it and I took it into the dealer and they had a service letter on that I believe and so they replaced it under warranty so and if you look at other reviews 
about the Nissan Pathfinder, I think that's going to be the number one thing that's brought up. So uh, just keep that in mind. This vehicle is a couple years old. I don't know if that's changed. I have uh, probably a dozen Nissans in our fleet at any one time um, versus a lot of Frontier pickups. And uh, the Versus are the only other vehicles I have that have that same transmission and I've replaced the transmission in one of the two that we've had of late. So uh, just something to keep an eye on. Uh, other than that, I don't know, maybe the brakes once and I've replaced the driver's side visor because it would only stick in the middle position and constantly poked me in the head and messed what little of my hair I have left up. And then there's a trim piece on the passenger side door that I just replaced a week ago because it pops up on one side. I put a new one on there, it stayed for a week, and now I can, I'm looking over it now, it's popping up again. Uh, other than that, I've done nothing with this truck. Um, since they took care of the transmission side of it, I guess it's been uh, extremely low operating cost. Uh, gets great gas mileage on the interstate, averaging around 26 miles per gallon if it's interstate only driving. If you mix it with in-town driving and Nashville traffic and some construction traffic, uh, I'm averaging right at 21 miles per gallon. So it's uh, fairly economical also. You couple that with the uh, low upfront cost, I think it's a great vehicle to consider as far as economics are concerned. Uh, interior, uh, again, I went with the black uh, interior. With It's got like a wood a gray wood grain finish, uh, which looks really nice, and uh, black leather seats, which I had added. And it, when they you get the leather package, they changed the armrest and the shoulder bolsters and everything out to uh, leather. So I think it looks very nice for a base model truck inside. Uh, the seating is awesome. Um, it, it's all, I have manual seat adjustment, uh, but the seats themselves are very comfortable for long-term driving. Again, I'll drive 150 to 200 miles a day and it's nothing in this truck. So uh, kudos to them for that. Uh, plenty of leg room, uh, plenty of adjustment in the seat and steering wheel to find a comfortable driving position, regardless of your height, I would say. Uh, passenger seat is the same way. The rear seats, there's a lot of room between the front row seats and the uh, next row seats behind me. It can easily fit three adults for a period of time. Uh, the third row seats, better than most for third row seats. Uh, they're elevated a little bit and uh, smaller individuals would be more comfortable, but I think long rides, probably not as much, but definitely for getting around town. Uh, it's very handy. Uh, the uh, seats behind me also have air conditioning controls uh, that uh, I can control from the front or rear for the next row of seats and the uh, works very well. The air conditioning is outstanding even though it's a black vehicle and it's going to be 90 degrees today. This truck heat uh, cools off quickly and heats up quickly when it needs to. Uh, storage with the third row seats down an amazing amount of stuff goes in this truck. Again, with construction, I'm also often delivering materials and tools and equipment to job sites. Uh, traveling with four or five people in the vehicle, it handles all the luggage, uh, plus my camera equipment, things like that when I go out to do a car shoot. So uh, utility-wise, as far as capacity, awesome. Got no complaints there. Um, uh, some of the little amenity items on the base model. Again, this is the base model. Um, it only has two charging ports, uh, one in the front and then one in the very back. Um, gosh, you could use one right underneath the uh, air conditioning controls and that would have gone a long way to satisfying the pack of uh, teenage girls that are riding in my car when my daughter has her friends and uh, we're taking them to uh, practice and things of that nature. Uh, but uh, no, other than that, it's uh, got no complaints. I, a personal peeve of mine, and this is just me personally, is the center left vent for the air conditioning 
no matter which way adjust, you adjust it, still manages to blow you in the face. Um, you can't shut the center ones off, and uh, if you blow it up, blow it down, blow it to the right, blow it to the left, it still hit me in the face somehow or another. So that's, that's a little frustrating, but uh, that's something you can live with, I guess. Um, the base model has a uh, decent stereo system. It has a CD player. Uh, also has aux input, so you can plug your iPod, iP iPhone, sound device, whatever into it. Uh, and that's typically what I do, and uh, that works great. Other than that, uh, it's outstanding. The exterior of the vehicle, again, base model comes with nothing. There's no chrome anything on it. Uh, I've added mud flaps just to give it a meaner look. But uh, uh, no roof racks. And uh, if you don't get the roof racks on the original model, you can't add them later, just so you're aware of that. Because I do some cycling and things, and that's, that was my original plan, and I found out that that's not going to happen now. Um, but the exterior, I guess the one thing that's been said is it looks vanish in appearance. Uh, used to like the old Pathfinders that had more of a rugged off-road look, uh, but I guess going with uh, economics and efficiency, trying to get a little better gas mileage and all, the tires were less aggressive or as far as being off-road is concerned. And the... Uh, um, the exterior of the vehicle was, I guess, more aerodynamic by making it in the shape that it is. But it's function functionally, it's a great vehicle to have. Visibility, uh, much better than you would expect with the SUV. Uh, you got a high seat position. Uh, the front, left and right, is awesome. The uh, mirrors are excellent. They have electronic adjustments, so you can adjust them from the driver's side. Uh, I think the only spot is over the driver's left shoulder, the uh, seat headrest, and the second pillar on the vehicle leaves a small blind spot, but uh, it's once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to work around. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at the interior of the 2013 Pathfinder. As you can see, I've got the base package, but I added the leather, of course. Uh, black on black. It has a wood grain simulated finish. Two cup holders in the front. That's one thing to say about this real quick is uh, this truck has 17 cup holders in it. It must be some type of record. But uh, I think that's pretty outstanding. Um, it's got uh, automatic window controls. And power locks, power mirrors. As we get in, uh, the steering wheel, if I'd straightened it out, has got uh, mode settings on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and start it up. There's a start button right here on the right. As long as the keys, it is a uh, keyless entry. So as long as the keys are on your purpose, person or somewhere near the, the uh, console, then you can start the vehicle. As you can see, I cut the door open. Straighten the wheel out. All right. Um, yeah, steering wheel. It has volume control on the left-hand side. Also has uh, mode controls so that you can change the display in the center. It's got the mileage trip odometer. Um, if you have it in the uh, on-demand all-wheel drive, then it will register what percentage goes to the front and what percentage is going to the rear. It does that automatically. Uh, average mile, average uh, gas uh, gas mileage. Uh, warning light. Of course, the lift gate's open. And then uh, several options, vehicle settings. You can change some of the displays. It also has a maintenance reminder that you can set up in here. Uh, alarms, change the language, things of that nature. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty handy, pretty easy to use. You can change the color of that car in the middle. <laughs> Speedometer on the right. Uh, right side of the uh, 
steering wheel is all your uh, cruise control settings. The uh, console has a just a mono screen display that if you turn the radio on or whatnot, it'll put that information up there. Nothing much to say about that. Uh, again, it's a uh, got a disc player, aux options, AM, FM. Uh, standard stereo sounds really good inside though Let me turn the fan air down uh, your air conditioning controls does have dual air control um, you can push this button to switch it between one or or both sides uh, that raises the temperature up and down on the left hand and right hand side uh, that's pretty oh and uh, the uh, selector for two-wheel drive and then your uh, on-demand four-wheel drive which is pretty much what I keep it in all the time but uh, yeah it's a uh, pretty handy uh, as you can see there's plenty of room in the driver and passenger side manual adjustments but there's yeah I get a bunch of room headrest for uh, both rows of seats actually all three rows of seats again power windows for the back has a controls for the air conditioning in the back or air conditioning and heating pull down armrest with uh, cup holders there's a cup holder in the door and then two below it if you can see those and then the third row you got two seat controls on the back seat you can pull this top lever up and the whole seat slides forward which allows actually really reasonable access to get into the back seat and you can see the back seat is a pretty decent size also has cup holders and all back there for it um, or you can put it back in the original position hold this handle here and it lays the second row of seats down independently two on this one this side one on the other uh, which you can also do the same thing with the back row of seats and then you have all that space from the front to the back which is used for the storage and on the very back even with all the seats open so there's seven rows of seating up there I still have room for a bunch of junk probably should have straightened that up but there's a good example of what it'll hold so yeah a pretty uh usable space back here. Well, there is a 12-volt uh, adapter right there also. And these are all really easy to move. Uh, you just pull these handles up to lay the seats down. The headrest, just have a strap. You can pull them up or down. So those are pretty simple. I did add some all-weather mats just to help protect the car got uh, some good looking wheels on it 235 65 18s those come standard I got about 60,000 miles out of the first set of tires that gives you a reference but yeah there's the uh, 2013 Nissan Pathfinder they started making the Pathfinder back in I think 1986 it was a uh, enclosed version, two-door version of the Nissan Hardbody truck and has been through several truck iterations until uh, 2013, this model year at which they began the uh, conversion into <laughs> what the car driver called, what did they call this thing? Oh, the mom pants of SUVs. Makes my chest hurt just a little bit. But to wrap it up, uh, I like the truck. If it met the uh, tax requirements, I'd probably get another one. I'd definitely get more stuff on it the next time. Uh, but for the money, when you're comparing it to, what, the uh, Toyota 4Runner, uh, Ford Explorer, and the menagerie of other SUVs that are in the market that will seat seven people and have that type of cargo space with the... Uh, opportunity for all-wheel drive I think it's a great choice and I think you'll be happy with it
Thank you for visiting the Full Octane Garage. Some final notes about the Nissan Pathfinder. It does come uh, front wheel drive with an option to upgrade it to all wheel drive. The uh, new Pathfinder coming out in 2017 will have a 3.5 liter uh, V6 with direct injection. They're going to revise the air intake, new pistons, low friction cylinder coating, and a higher compression ratio, which will bring the horsepower up from 260 to 284 and the torque up from 240 to 259 foot-pounds of torque. A couple other items of note, the uh, 2017 Pathfinder will be up 11% on spring rates and have a uh, steering with quicker ratio on it. Uh, the base model will also include Bluetooth and an extra aux port as standard in addition to a rear view camera. So. Uh, Plenty of nice things coming up for the new Pathfinder. Check it out. Thanks for listening to the Full Octane Garage. If you like our videos, please give us a like. Leave any comments. Feel free to share. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.